Each sunrise paints the way for a new day. I mean, this is part of the charm of Crested Butte. Leading the stray to this little gem of a Rocky Mountain getaway. It's kind of like urban living in Crested Butte. Its buildings are unique, hidden past the peaks. So beautiful. Like a chest full of treasures locked on a block in the heart of this town, the rock. The fact that we're not on elk and we still have accessibility in some ways, I think, is a blessing. But perhaps the best in that chest is out west on Elk Ave. I I think it definitely catches her eye. <laughs> yeah, people are in awe. In awe of what they saw, that that crazy looking place. Well, this is crazy. Hello, Michael. What's happening? How are you? Helen and Bob get asked the same question several times a day. What's going on inside there? And so they say... Why did people do that, you know, is the question that's, that's most often asked. There's only one way. Oh, uh, Bob, you may know some of the, more of the history of it than I. To explain all those plain plates. Sighting. Free sighting. I mean, they were poor. You know, it's a poor town. These were owned by Lyle McNeil family, an old miner. His job at one point in his life was to take the uh, bird down into the mine to see if the bird died, you know, from gases. That was way back when. Yep. <laughs> nice to see you. You too. Nowadays in this den, Triple, yes. you'll find a jam-packed full of friends. What can I get you? Big one, all right. Each one pouring in. Busy, steady. Do you want your copy of this receipt? Aching for an answer to that simple question. How many do you think you've received of those? A hundred? More than a hundred? I'd say over a hundred. A little push in here, a little pull in there. I'm going to say a couple of thousand, maybe three thousand. Far too many plates for one building to wear. Bob was gracious enough to sell me this building. Which is why next door it wasn't much of a chore to add more plates to Bob's place. Wow. Well, yeah. this is a, a piece of treasure, both of them, they treasure. Are. There are blue plates, green plates, yellow plates, and out-of-state plates. Okay, so we have a plate over there called Quickie, and that came off a Porsche from uh, Florida. And so many plates with one common fate. So it becomes a spreading thing. Brought together as a rusty, unique treasure. It's, it's interesting. On this block that's like a chest, tucked away in the Rocky Mountain West. So beautiful. Next time you're here, make sure you peer. Because it just has this something about it causes them to say, wow. Into the house of coffee brews, sheltered by those rusty orange, greens, and blue. <laughs> With photojournalist Dan McKinney. Is that it? This is Kevin Torres for Nine News.